to start off tonight, I want to talk about this. Paramount Plus is doing a Grease prequel. Prequel. It's a musical called Rise of the Pink Ladies. Last night, we talked about Rise of the Evil Dead. Tonight, we have Rise of the Pink Ladies. Um, <laughs> we'll be streaming on Paramount Plus. It apparently takes place before the events of Grease 1 and before Danny is out there, before Travolta, before all that. We're going to find out how the pink girls, the pink ladies, came to be. So I saw this and I kind of laughed. Like, I'm not really sure I know how I feel about this because sometimes you just let things lie. But here's a little bit from, uh, I think this was from the Hollywood Reporter about the pink ladies. The musical series takes place four years before the original Grease, in 1954, before rock and roll ruled, before the T-Birds were the coolest in school, four, four fed up outcasts dare to have fun on their own terms, sparking a moral panic that will change Rydell High forever. Rydell High. Yep. So they, uh, apparently, there's, you know, so many ideas out there in Hollywood are going back to Greece. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I hear this and I was just like, again, I was like, is this necessary? Of course, the musical, that makes sense because Grease, Grease 2 musicals, it makes sense to bring it back. Hopefully the songs are good. A young cast doesn't sound like there's any of the original members coming back. So it's on its own. It's before everything. Sabrina, you hear about this. What do you think? Is this something you would watch or do you think this should have been left behind in the past with the movies themselves? I, I think you know the answer to this. I would absolutely not watch this. I would actively seek <laughs> to not watch it. Uh, I think it's going to be terrible. Um, I'm just, I'm personally just not a fan of musical television. Like Glee annoyed the crap out of me. Like no one just bursts into song in the middle of a high school hallway. Like I just, it's just the weirdest. I just don't, it's, it's ridiculous. And Grease is what it is. Grease too sucked. Grease was Grease Greece is the word. I mean, yeah, as Greece was great. It was, it was it was fun, but it's not something that we need to like keep going back to over and over and over again. They're also doing another prequel called Summer Loving with the, oh, yeah. the original story of of Danny and Sandy or whatever her name is. I can't. I, I'm not gonna watch either of it. It's stupid in my opinion. Sandra D. However, the showrunner is from Atypical, and she created it and wrote it. Uh, I believe wrote it, but she definitely created it. She's gonna be the showrunner. Atypical was pretty successful so i don't know maybe she'll surprise us look at me i'm sandra d yeah I, apparently yeah. it's going to be they're saying for that they want to do it for a while there's a script it's going to be about them before their summer falling in love and you know so that stupid. story that they summed up in one song in the movie uh jake you hear about this what do you think is this something that like perks your interest would you watch grease the musical tv series streaming on paramount plus or do you think they should have been left in the past? Uh, I won't watch it. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, you know, it's, it's one of those things where out of curiosity, I might turn it on and just check it out to see what's going on. Like, oh, look, it's that show that <laughs> I don't want to watch. But, you know, and then I'll start playing a game on my phone and that'll be the end of it. And I'll turn it off. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I see happening with that. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't even know, like, who their audience would be at this point. They're saying that it's, like, bringing it to a new generation, of course. But, I I mean, then reboot the movie, but who wants to see that? So, no, the way we're doing these enough. days. They did that live crap. Enough is enough. Yeah, they did the live thing. It didn't go over that well. It was okay. They're trying this whole live thing, but they're, you know, how it is with these shows on Paramount Plus and all the streaming networks. They're looking for some kind of built-in audience, but playing off the past again this this comes down to me is there's not enough original ideas in hollywood sometimes we have to keep reaching into the past and it, you know all that does is just mess up the past too it's like if it's already been done good and it's done it's over with it's in the can find a new idea and move on that's what i think but you know paramount plus is going to try to do this i don't i don't know it's early there's no information really out besides that so they're seeing 2023 release at some point nothing's announced so I don't know when it comes out. We'll find out. We'll let you know. We'll t if, if it's good, we'll tell you. But I have a feeling this will probably disappear just out of nowhere. And it'll probably be canceled after one season. Not I mean, to be know, negative how, about the show, but. Look how successful Glee was. Who knows? You never know. Glee did, Glee, Glee did great. Maybe it'll be something like that where it actually pulls on people and it, they do the music great. And it actually becomes some kind of like hit 
classic that goes on for 10 seasons. But Glee was relevant music. It was like all popular music they were singing for the most part. You know what I mean? I know. And this is yeah. going to be a period piece. So who knows? I mean, again, it might bring that music to a new generation. But I would imagine it's going to be more thing songy, kind of like a stage musical than anything else. Kind of like how Grease was in general. And the question is, are they going to go back to the original locations? I'd imagine they'll try to. I still don't know because it'd be great if it was actually in the future and you could pull in some of the original cast. I think that would have been more interesting to me. I don't think Travolta would do TV. You know, I don't know if he would or not. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, TV. Oh, my God. He uh, did that crime show for Ryan Murphy. The, oh, he did do that. But that, that that's true crime story. True, yeah, yeah, American crime story. But that was more, you. Uh, you know, more cinematic. It seems like more television, more movie television, actually like television, television. And I don't know if Travolta, he did, what was that, uh, Hair was it hairspray, hairspray. He did back in not too long ago where he did that, the musical. And you know, so maybe he'll still have this in him. Maybe they'll maybe this will lead to another Greece. You never know, Jake. But you know, you hear about this. Do you think, like, I know you have a young daughter. Do you think that she would like to watch something like this, or do you think that again, uh, she'd be like, No, no, dad, turn she, the channel? She would, um, she would want to be in the show. She that's how I know. <laughs> That's how I know she's home is there's, and I know exactly where she's at in the house at all times because she's constantly singing or humming mm. or, you know, I, that's, that's just what she does. She's always making noise. And so now <laughs> that I'm thinking about it, it probably will be on my TV more than I want it to be. Um, Cause she, <laughs> uh, she would like something like that. So you made the reference to Glee and how successful that was, but it was yeah. more relevant with, pop music and culture. Um, but I, you know, I, I also believe in leaving a good thing alone when it's a good thing, you know, and I can see where it could come off the rails pretty easy. You know, if they don't keep it original enough while also being relevant. So, but yeah, I think, you know, for, but she's only seven, so it might, I don't know. It, <laughs> she's not yeah. quite there yet. I don't think I'd let her watch it yet, but you know, in the future, maybe. Do you think the intro title like Grease is the word? It's the word. It's the word now. Uh, Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. Anyways. Depends on how much. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know where to go with that, Brian. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I on that note, we're going to move on because why not? You <laughs> tell us what you think. Leave some comments. If Grease is the word to you, you let us know. And if you're stoked about this, great. Because a lot of people may be. You know, a lot of fans might be. It might be a great thing for new generation. People that have known Greece and have been around it and have had it in their life since they were kids, we might be a little bit more reluctant. To.